Hello everyone, this is Eric Jaskolka, Guinness World Record Holder for the World's Largest X-Men Memorabilia Collection. Um, it's been a while since I've provided an update, so I thought I would shoot a new video, and it'll be a good introduction for those of you that have not seen my X-Men collection before. So outside my X-Men room, I have this statue display case. Lots and lots of statues, even have some new ones, Nightcrawler and Beast, haven't had a chance to get those out yet. Uh, some of my favorites here are... For example, these one-to-one -one collectibles, this is from Wolverine and the X-Men cartoon in 2009. They were solicited at San Diego Comic-Con, never released, so one of a kind. Um, I really like the X-Force set from Kotobukiya. Um, Bowen statues, you can tell I have a lot of Bowen statues. I really enjoy uh, what they have to offer. Um, recently have some new fan-made statues. We've got uh, Nimrod down there, we've got Sauron and Blob. Um, as you can tell, there's like Wolverine. Wolverine's merchandise a lot, so there's tons of Wolverine, and he's one of my favorite characters. Um, and just got the new X-Men Marvel Legends action figures, so I've got to work those into the room. Uh, speaking of the room, why don't we go ahead and go in? So, there's my certificate. So, as you can see, and as we pan around the room, you can just see, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. So, there are three aisles. And what we'll do is kind of just walk down some of the aisles and point a few things out. So over on my right is the movie section. Um, nothing new since the last update, uh, but X-Men Dark Phoenix is coming out. So I'm looking forward to getting some promotional items and whatever else may be released to add to my collection. Um, still have the really cool chess set from Eagle Moss up here. My picture with Stan Lee. I was fortunate enough to meet him a few years ago. Um, oh, X-Men 92 action figures, so those are really cool. Just got those all set up. Um, have some remote control cars on the bottom. Uh, we have some life-size helmets over here. Uh, as we continue along, lots of watches and collectibles. I think there's like 60 or 70 watches. Kind of crazy. Um, have a chess set from X-Men 2 that was given out to the media. And over here, this is a video. Of, this is a uh, action figure of um, a Wolverine prototype that was made by a company called Hornby. They didn't get the license. It actually became Pocket Comics. Um, back here we have different action figures. We've got some licensed, unlicensed, and it actually goes along this wall and wraps around this other way. Um, always get questions. Do you collect comic books? Yes, I do. There's a whole closet full of them. And from last time, you can tell there's boxes sticking out. So, um, yes, I collect comic books. As we swing around here, the Funko Pop bobbleheads. They've grown. I actually had to add a section up here. Got the new Dark Phoenix ones up there. Uh, one cool one, I don't know if I've shown everybody, is this X-23. So Pop Price Guide had a limited edition. I believe they made 30. I was fortunate enough to get one. So thank you very much. Um, as we come back here, I do have some new glass shelves. So I'm working on displaying things a little bit here. Um, just trying to play around with some of the movement. Have a lot of little kind of Lego type items, some even in box that are not licensed. So those are kind of fun. Um, as we go here, again, a lot of different stuff. I um, do have some a Tactics Series 2 unreleased prototypes. These are unpainted. I do have a couple painted down here of some of those versions. Um, over here on my left, um, I did go ahead and start getting the Panini figurines from UK. They're a little bigger than the Eagle Moss figurines. I'll go ahead and grab Wolverine down here to give you a comparison that this is the Eagle Moss and those are the Panini figurines. So you can tell there's quite a size difference. In this section here, we also have on these shelves here, these are uh, food premiums from restaurants all over the world. Bobbleheads. Um, even have a, a solar-powered Wolverine bobblehead that seems to go every time I turn on the lights. Um, over on my right, puzzles, dress-up playsets, Cyclops helmet, a lot of die-cast cars in here. Um, I did get the new series of X-Men Hot Wheels cars. Haven't had a chance to work them out yet. Um, Marvel Select, nothing really has changed over here. Um, although I think Beast came out last since the uh, last time, so I've got Beast. And waiting on Rogue and Psylocke this year. Um... Try to make best use of my wall space, the door, you know, try to make sure that there's a place to put something. I don't have room to display everything. I have uh, backpacks, hats, sleeping bags, pillows, costumes, birthday party supplies, school supplies, 
storybooks, probably other things I can't remember that are packed away. I just don't have enough space. So one day maybe. Um, the food section with all the dishes and glasses as we swing around here. I have kind of a miscellaneous section here that I've been working on adjusting. At times it can get quite messy. Um, with some of the new glass shelving that we have, I'm trying to adjust and put layers and layers of items to put these smaller items in the front. So as we continue down this aisle here, um, uh, metal tins and uh, down here a lot of the Mondo pins. I have all but one, but the first I don't have the first Wolverine pin yet. Um, some Scotty Young pins are over there. Uh, one fun thing I like to point out is these X-Men Evolution koozies, long story, but it took me about 15 years to get the last one, Kitty Pride. It was like five bucks, the best five bucks I ever spent. So it's one of my prized possessions. Um, as we continue down here, uh, we're getting to the what I call the miniature section. For me, it's one of my favorites just because there's a lot of little tiny things from the superhero squad to the beans to all the Japanese type of stuff or stuff that you get in um, vending machines. Um, the mini mates, mini mates are always fun. I'm look, looking forward to the new X Factor ones coming out this summer. Um, all, tons of hero clicks, tons of hero clicks, all X Men, of course. Um, even have a X Men bowling ball down here. Um, back here we have a bunch of stuffed animals. And I was able to get out a few of my art supplies up here on this top shelf. I've always enjoyed the crayon by numbers and color by number, color by numbers, excuse me, that came out in the mid 90s. Um, something that's kind of cool is this Wolverine cycle that was released. This was the American version, and there was actually a Japanese version that had the yellow and blue. So I've, I got that several years ago. Not sure if I've shown that to people or not. Um, as we continue down here, again, just lots of different things going on. Um, the Marvel Legends, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I think last time it was a little different. Um, I had about 20, 25 action figures I hadn't gotten out yet. I worked on that, got everything in here, and of course the new Legends set comes out, so got to work those in. And of course this summer there's a couple more sets coming out, so I'll have to make some space for all those. Um, the back wall, this is kind of... You know, a lot of people say the money shot, you know, this is what started all. These are the original Toy Biz action figures it's from, you know, late 1990 all the way through the 2000s before we get into the Hasbro Marvel Legends. Uh, as we swing around here, we're kind of finishing up the tour. Um, again, different action figures, licensed stuff, unlicensed stuff, little potato heads. Um, again, there's just so much here I could spend hours and hours and... Maybe that's what I'll do is focus on in the future, maybe different shelves and speak about different things. Um, oh, one last thing as far as trying to use up as much space. I do have my ornaments up on the ceiling here. So again, try to use as much real estate as I can. So that's my quick tour. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a post, a question down below. Also, um, if you're interested, if you go to Facebook, there's X-Men Collection. Uh, that's my page, and I'm always posting pictures of new items and sharing things, and I enjoy hearing from other people as well. As well. So um, thanks, and until next time, goodbye.